Hello, in this video we are going to mention one of the most common evaluation techniques for multi-class classification problems in machine learning. Accuracy is mostly not enough to evaluate a machine learning model. Consider fraud detection or cancer diagnosis. Just a few of cases are positive in those problems. If your program returns it's not fraud or this is not cancer by default, you would have a high accuracy score. But the important thing is here to find those rare events. That's why we mostly evaluate built models with precision and recall scores. Here, if you have distinct prediction classes, then it's easy to calculate precision and recall. But sometimes it's not that easy. Let's see why in a practice. Firstly, I'm going to import pandas module. Then I'm going to read a predictions dot csv file and it's going to be a data frame and let's see the content of this data frame let's see different lines of the data frame as seen there are zero and one clusters in actual column but predictions are continuous it's expected that i should match some predictions to one and some predictions to zero the easiest way to apply this matching is based on a threshold uh, i'm going to classify a prediction as one if it's greater than a threshold value for example let's set this threshold value is 0 0.5 and now build a for loop for index and instance in a data frame dot iterate rows here uh, I'm going to get instances actual column this the actual one and the prediction is going to be the prediction k of the instance let's see the content of actual and prediction ones this is the actual value zero and uh, this is the prediction value for the first line here I'm going to check the prediction value is greater than the threshold value and if this case is satisfied then prediction class is going to be 1 otherwise it's going to be 0 let's move this illustration above as seen here if both prediction and actual value is positive or it's equal to 1 then it's going to be true positive case that's why let's initialize those values true positive false positive false negative and true negative as zero here here if the bot uh, prediction class is equal to one and actual value is equal to one then uh, i'm going to increase the true positive value otherwise if actual value is one but prediction value is zero then it's going to be a false negative actual value is one and prediction class is equal to zero then it's going to be a false negative otherwise if actual value is equal to zero here and the prediction is equal to one And this is going to be false negative. And finally, the both uh, actual value and prediction value is zero. Then it's going to be a true negative. Here I'm going to check the both actual is equal to zero and prediction class is equal to zero. Then true negative value will be increased. Let's print those four values after the for loop and uh, I actually can disable this printing line now I can calculate the recall and precision values as well here recall is equal to true positive over true positive over true positive plus false negative 
this is actually true positive rights i also need false positive rights to uh, plot the rock curve this is equal to false positive over true negative plus false positive let's print true positive rate and false positive rate as well true positive rate is 74% uh, and false positive rate is 24% and uh, this actually retrieved by uh, this threshold value what if this threshold value is equal to 0 0.4 i actually wonder the uh, true positive rate and false positive rate in this case true positive rate is higher and also false positive rate is higher than the uh, previous threshold at this point a rock curve examines uh, true positive rates and false positive rates for different threshold values here uh, i'm going to build a for loop for different threshold values and it starts with zero and until uh, it becomes 100 increase the value 5 and 5 as seen uh, those are going to be my threshold values actually i'm going to divide them to 100 but before that i'm going to transform to do numpy array but i haven't imported numpy that's why here i'm going to import numpy first and secondly uh, transform this list to numpy array then divide it to 100 those are going to be my threshold values let's transform it to numpy array as well and those are going to be my threshold values here let's see the thresholds first let's move the generation of thresholds to this block then build a for loop for threshold in those thresholds and here i'm going to remove that line and uh, all of those logic are implemented in this for loop and here i'm going to append uh, those true positive rates and false positive rates into a python list for example rock points is going to be a python list and here i'm going to append true positive rates and false positive rates this should be append and i'm going to put uh, this pair in a list let's see the rock points those are the rock points and those are the threshold values let's convert this rock point to a pandas data frame pandas dot data frame and here i'm going to pass the column names the first one is x and the second one is y this is going to be a pivot data frame and here i can also set the threshold values here let's see the pivot data frame let's plot uh, those points but before that i need to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt now i'm going to call plt.scatter and pass a uh, y and x values of the pivot pivot dot y and pivot dot x this is going to be uh, my rock curve this curve uh, actually shows the performance of my predictions uh, a random number generator actually get 50 percent accuracy that's why plt dot plot and uh, pass zero and one line uh, is the accuracy of uh, a random number generator and as seen uh, this curve uh, is higher accuracy than uh, the random number generator i can actually increase the number of points in this graph here uh, let's increase uh, the value 
one by one instead of five now it's going to be a uh, 105 uh, points in this data frame and let's draw it here uh, the x label is false positive rate and y label is true positive rate let's put the labels of the uh, axes and uh, this is the rock curve actually uh, based on the rock curve uh, we can calculate a accuracy metric named oak oak score it's actually the acronym of the area under the curve it examines the area under this uh, rock curve a perfect classifier uh, would have a rock curve like a uh, inverse add letter that's why uh, its area under the curve uh, would be one in this case because it's going to be a rectangle but uh, calculating the area under this curve uh, requires integral calculus but luckily numpy can handle this integral calculus i'm going to import uh, actually from numpy import uh, this traps module here i'm going to call numpy.traps and pass true positive rates and false positive rates as you might remember x column stores true positive rates and y column stores false positive rates and uh, this returns 0 0.79 actually i need the absolute value of uh, this result uh, this is the aux score let's run it uh, to that's four digits this is my aux value and uh, as you might uh, remember uh, this value uh, must be less than the one actually i can't say that uh, my predictions got 79% uh, aux uh, and it's a good value actually because as you might remember a random number generator uh, would have 0.5 arc value so we have mentioned a uh, rock curve and arc score concepts in machine learning evaluation thank you all for watching and see you next time